We're at page 1129, looking at pages 13, 14, a little more about graphing parabolas. We still need to refer to our chart on page 11. And um, we're going to go a step further now. In addition to identifying what is the focus, what is the directrix, and which direction does it open, left, right, up, down, we are also going to determine how wide the parabola is and then actually try to sketch it onto graph paper. And uh, they don't give us a lot of practice here. We have three problems we're going to do this with. And I'm going to take one here, just we'll get started with it. Y equals negative 20X. Now I'm going to look back at page 11 and see which of these matches. So the top two are Y squared, the bottom ones are X squared. So I'm thinking it's negative and negative. So let's take this template y squared equals negative 4ax and if that's the case the directrix is going to be x equals a and the focus it says will be negative a comma zero all right and the position is going to kind of open that way to the left so all of that I'm taking right from our little picture here. So let me put this down. We have one more term that they talk about on page uh, 13, and that is the lattice rectum, okay? <laughs> so the lattice rectum means uh, the line that goes across the bottom. It stretches through the focus and stretches out on both sides and shows us how wide that the graph will be, and that is a little formula for times a. So once we know what a is, a is kind of the key to figuring out the whole rest of the, uh, the equation. So let's first of all figure out, well, what is a gonna be? So I'm gonna put a little box here around, so the negative, negative x, x. So I need to come over here and say 4a must be equal to 20. So that means A is going to be 5. Yay! So right here, the directrix then is going to be X equals 5. The focal point is going to be the point negative 5, 0. And then the lattice rectum is going to be 4 times that, which is going to be 20. So let's see what that actually is going to mean. So I'm going to create a, a graph over here. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. The directrix means x equals 5. So that means it's going to cross the x-axis out here at positive 5. So we could draw a line here, straight up and down. That's x equals 5. The focal point is going to be negative 5, 0. So I got here to negative 5. Put a dot here at negative 5, 0. This is the vertex. Okay, because we haven't done any type where the vertex is not at zero, zero. <clears throat> I know it's going to open to the left, and we can kind of see that because this is our directrix line. So it's going to start here and kind of go, and then like this. So we know it's going to come this direction. Now we've got to put in the lattice rectum to see how that helps us in graphing this. Well, from this point here to this point here needs to be 20 units long, okay? Well, it's going to be symmetrical. So if we take the 20 and divide by 2, then I'll have 2a, which in this case would be a height of 10. So I'm going to, so right up to here is 10. And then if I come down to here, was the other 10? All right. 
So that would be the lattice rectum line. And now it's just a matter of doing a smooth connection where it should be kind of curved. It starts here, curves through there and out. It comes from here, curves through here and goes out. All right, so it should be a smooth curve and then spread out from there. <clears throat> All right, you get to do that on your homework. I think this is, we basically set you up with one of your homework problems and finding all of these parts, but now you need to go back and fill it all in and graph it carefully on the graph paper. And then you have two other problems that are uh, very similar to this, just with different numbers. Make sure you look back at page 11, follow the template to see uh, which type it is.